My specialty is I can create the plasma state of pretty much any material that uh, exists in nature. In particular, I create plasmas of metals, such as titanium and copper and platinum and gold. And then I can use this plasma to make a coating, for example, a thin film. When we look at the different phases in nature, so it's all it, the liquid and the gas and eventually the plasma, it's always energy we add to go to the next phase. The easiest way to add energy to a phase is through an electrical discharge. And I specifically use arc discharges and glow discharges. The magnetron sputtering uses these devices, these magnetrons, which are objects that can be very small, something of, for research, uh, maybe 10 centimeters in diameter, to very large. The largest I have seen were very close to four meters for production. Uh, so these devices are used to make an electrical discharge where the usually gas ions bombard the target. The target is what we call the material that we want to deposit eventually on to an object. Uh, for example, if you have a microchip and you want to metallize a contact on that chip, the contact should be copper, so we're using a copper target, and argon ions bombard the copper target, remove copper atoms, these atoms fly away and hit the surface of that chip and create a copper film. All our high-tech devices, uh, the cell phone, the computers, uh, the cameras, uh, cars, airplanes, everything uses these thin films that are made by sputtering. The person who wants to go into science is, is actually interested in pushing the boundaries. If you want to discover something, there is the land of science and you can go there and everybody who studies can go there and can claim, I discovered that. But specifically for me so interesting, I can combine the discovery aspect of being something really new with something that's really useful. That's why I live in plasma physics slash applied physics, combining the fundamental understanding with something that's really useful. That's, I think it's fascinating.